There, blast them. Yes, the Jedi strength flows from the Force. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now, we have um, a bit of a situation here right now. Houston, we have a problem. It's one thing when your, uh, your adversaries, like a Blaha, are the not strong enough guy. And that's right, strunk with the K, not strong, calls you out. You know what I'm saying? For fraudulent activity. But it's another thing when your hero, when your hero calls you out. That's that's a shot to the ego that you just can't recover from. And I just watched the video by Eric Bogenhagen. And <laughs> as, as nice as he was trying to put this video, it... I mean, it was it was still shots. It was still shots. He was still throwing shots, not not purposely, not maliciously, but they were still being thrown. Because when you call out fraudulence, shots will be fired. Shots will be fired. Now let's listen. I'm not gonna play this guy's video, but I'm gonna show you right here. You see that the look on his face? He's like, ish. You know, he's calling them out. So apparently, um. You know, this video he's talking about here is old, you know, where Alpha Destiny was supposed to have done a um, overhand grip, double overhand grip without a hook with this X amount of weight with chains, claiming that he's, you know, has some amazing grip strength. And right as he goes with the pull, he does a little double move and then he hooks and then he, you know, he hooks and, you know, he got caught out right here. Now, I'm not going to rehash every single detail because he did a pretty good job of doing that. I'm just here for the exposure. <laughs> Exposing. Because, you know, like I said, the fitness industry needs a, it needs a reboot. You got guys lying to you left and right, left and right. Then they're being called out. And even he said it at this part here, he goes, just do the lift again. Are you going to be, you know, like that nether beast guy? Fake and fraudulent. Nether beast, you know, another one of those guys. You know, it's like it's like Brad Castleberry just infected everyone in the fitness industry with fraudulence. People are like, well, damn, if he can get away with going in the gym and lifting six, seven hundred pounds on the bench press with fake weights. Well, shit, I can I can trick some people, too, and sell some programs. Cause that's what it all boils down to. So, you know, Eric pretty much is calling them out. Now, he was... You know, he was throwing some shots, man. You know, I don't know how tall Eric is, but the way he was talking, he made it seem like he's taller than the 5'5", five 160 five, pounds that he made Alpha Destiny out to be. He goes, I don't know if the guy's 5'5", 5'6", 5'7". He wouldn't dare say 5'8", or 5'9". <laughs> Almost choked on laughter. He wouldn't dare say 5'8", or 5'9", because then he would be lying. <laughs> Right, let me stop that's that's so yeah you know he he said it a few times man i can see in his face like look he's holding back right now <laughs> he literally just said it i don't know if he's five foot two five foot three or what but with little baby hands he, he he's throwing shots man in a nice way and that's the funny thing about this he's not being malicious at, at all he just wants to set the record straight with this video but he's throwing shots nonetheless, and it's funny as hell. Like, look at his face. I caught him right in the derp moment. He's like, jeesh, you know, those, those baby hands. <laughs> there's no way. He was saying there's no way at being five foot five with baby hands that you're going to be lifting that weight without hooking your fingers. And he, he zoomed in as best he could, you know, put his camera to the screen in the beginning. You all saw it. And he hooked. Meaning that he didn't do what he said he did, which seems like it seems like the running theme right now with Alpha Destiny and another beast. And a lot, you know, a lot of guys, man. Like I said, man, the fraudulence is everywhere, everywhere. Every time you turn around, there's some new deceiving tactic. I have to go back to the David Lay. Like I used to watch some of David Lay's videos. You know, cool dude. You know, cool kid. I thought he was really getting his beast on until he just showed up looking like young Hercules. 
bench pressing 390 or was it 4, 395 or something out of nowhere and, you know the next you know a few weeks later he shows up with gyno and then his fake natty crew 2.0 this is the post matt Ogus era fake natties you know they all hit these amazing 315 for reps and shit and these guys are little you know what i'm saying it's just fraudulence everywhere fraudulence but you know this video here as nice as eric tried to go about making this video at the end of the day he was still tossing grenades at a thousand miles an hour and i know if 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 Alpha Destiny, if if he watched this video, when he got to the point where he says he's five 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 with baby hands, that I mean, he's your hero. Even Blaha called him out and said, you know what? It's like you want to be like Eric. He's like Eric's an alpha male, and Alpha Destiny wants to be him so bad. He leeches on to these people like a father figure, and he wants to be them so bad. That's why he betrays this alpha theme. You know, you know, like real alpha men, we don't have to portray it. We just are. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to act extra macho. I mean, I could, I got a really deep voice, but I'm not even using my really, really deep voice because I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to be on here like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> Sounding like a fucking creeper. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to be extra macho for no reason. You know what I'm saying? But Alpha, alpha Destiny, he overcompensates. I see a lot of people commenting on the last video I posted about him. And then, you know, a lot of people are agreeing with me. Now, you know, you have the nut huggers, the, the D riders, you know, they're all, they're going to ride or die. They're going to ride or die. But a lot of people are, you know, they're calling out the fraudulentness in Alpha Destiny. And, and as they should, because at the end of the day, you should not be deceiving people for monetary value. That's the scumbag 101. You should not do that. You know what I'm saying? These people that we're trying to influence, they should be looked at as as an extension of yourself because we're all people we're all in this game trying to reach a goal at the end of the day so when i make these type of videos some of you might say oh you're you're just you're you're hating on him you're no i'm not hating on him it's called like like eric said setting the record straight and you got someone as nice as they may go about it and their fraudulentness they're still fraudulent and it needs to be addressed and all the people coming out of their hard-earned money. If you're one of those people, I really feel sorry for you. If you are one of those people who spent X amount of dollars on one of those programs, I I'm sorry. I'm I feel bad for you. You could have used that money for your cell phone bill, for your rent, for your light bill. Maybe you got kids, you know, you, you took a risk. And you know, you spent your kids' diaper money on a goddamn program from a, from a dude who's been frauding you it's it's that's malicious intent you know to knowingly lead mislead people but we're not gonna dig too deep into that i can go all night with that morality shit but at the end of the day man it's just it's it's wrong you shouldn't be lying to people you don't have to lie you know and it's you know the reason why a lot of people do this lying shit in the fitness industry because they see the liars and the frauds and the steroid gear addicts are winning because the fanboys only pay attention to someone if they have 6% body fat and they're bench pressing 225 for like 20 plus reps, 30 reps, 40 reps, 50 reps. Well, I don't think I've seen anyone do 50, but you get what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? It's like they idolize the frauds. So what do most of these guys do? They get on, they pretend to be alpha, they pretend to, you know, they're taking steroids, but they're claiming natty. And it, it's funny, like, when I see some of these guys, not even Alpha Destiny, it's a lot of guys on here who pretend to be so alpha. And they talk about natural. When they sit there and they say natural, I'm looking them in the eye as they're speaking. And you can just see the fraudulentness. And if you watch closely, you'll see some of those guys, their eyes are shift to the right, up and to the right. Because they knew they just told a lie. And, and you know, their your mind is, is, a, is a machine. And it works a certain way. Everyone has a tail. Sometimes people look to the left when they lie but most time people look to the right when they lie you know because they're thinking about in that split second they're thinking about that truth and that's something for another that's the lesson for another day i don't want to get too deep you know what i'm saying but yeah you know this was this was pretty funny it was a funny video eric was nicely throwing shots he was just pulling the pin out of those grenades with a smile on his face and tossing them right over with the five foot five with the baby hands wow that's crazy so anyway guys um 
I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only son? But the phony niggas up the Say my name, watch bitches come. Now fire when ready, stay watching now.